All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about a dedicated rescue knife. A lot of guys ask about dedicated rescue knives. I have one that I own that is a knife that's specifically made for rescue applications. We're gonna look at today. This one is from Statgear. Where are you going? Get out of the way! Now the stack gear knife is pretty thick and so it comes with a pouch. I can see this being really helpful if you wanted to attach it to your belt. The pouch itself has both horizontal and vertical attachments. Should be nice if you were a firefighter and you had one of those straps that you hang across yourself to hold your radio onto. You could just slide this in there and be able to keep your knife and your radio all together. It also comes with a pocket clip, which I think is gonna be more applicable for your police officers and security guards. The knife's a little thick, but that wouldn't be a really crazy thing if you were gonna put it on the front of a plate carrier or an armor carrier like I wear at work, or if you're gonna put it into a cargo pocket, and cargo pockets have kind of become really ubiquitous in police and security work. Almost everyone is going to cargo pocket pants in the area that I work is at least an optional uniform item. And for EMTs and paramedics, which I think was the primary market that the company was looking for with this knife, the thickness isn't really gonna be a big issue because they almost all wear cargo pockets. In fact, I don't see them wearing dress pants at all anymore, at least around where I'm at. This stack gear knife combines your normal EDC, like three inch bladed pocket knife that's half serrated with a separate independent rescue hook. And both of them are accessible through little thumb studs. So you pull the knife out and you get your rescue hook that easily without it, without it catching on anything in your pocket from carrying it inside some sort of like Kydex attachment on your stuff. It also isn't gonna fall out of some little Kydex attachment like a bunch of these little rescue hooks that come as a fixed blade do. Both the main blade and this little rescue hook that you could use for seat belts come razor sharp straight out of the box and you can tell I don't use it a lot because mine is still razor sharp. It's got a little single LED light on it right there which uh, would be pretty good for checking pupils on somebody or looking for something underneath the seat of your car if you lost it. It's more akin to the light on your phone than it is on an independent pocket flashlight. If you want a really good flashlight, you should probably carry a separate flashlight, but as an all-in-one, it does the job fairly well, and it's gonna be about as good as one of those disposable pen lights that most EMTs I see carrying around. The real application that this has for rescue work is with the glass breaker that it has on the end. This is worth having if for no other reason than you're not gonna end up breaking your hand and everything else trying to break the glass on a car, having to go find a brick or find something to break a window out with at an accident scene if you've got somebody that's unconscious in a car and you need to get them out. The back end of the knife here, you can see, has a little plunger. You put the plunger down on the window and you press down and it drills a little hole through whatever you want. That little glass breaker tip saves you a whole lot of time and energy beating on a window with a baton or having to find some other tool to break the windows out with. And it also doesn't have the risk of the tool that you're using going through the glass and hurting the person that's inside. I don't remember right off the top of my head what the stack gear knife costs, but I'll put a link down in the description below where you guys can find it. I don't think it was all that pricey. I think it was somewhere in the category of 30 to $35, or something like that. So if you're looking for a knife that's gonna flex a lot of different rolls, and you don't wanna to have to carry a multi-tool to have something to cut seat belts with and a baton for something to break out windows with, and you still wanna have an EDC knife and you don't really need a big duty light, or you wanna have something small to have just as a backup light in case your other light goes out, this is a pretty good deal, especially at the price point, coming in significantly under $50, which most of the knives that I have cost me more than $50 to get. We're gonna be pushing on doing reviews of other knives. I've got another rescue knife sitting around here somewhere and a couple other knives that I've used on the street before guys said they wanted to see. We'll have more of that coming out later. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you.